Hey guys, Adam here, Blackfire Productions, and welcome back to another Toy Tuesday. Uh, recently acquired a TMS 008 IG11 um, here in Canada. It's been took a while to get up here from through uh, sideshow, uh, but I'm super excited to grab one of these and put them on the shelves behind me uh, with my Mandos and Grogu's. Um, yeah, I, I definitely am going to be collecting or have been collecting a lot of the um, Mando line. Uh, it was sort of like my go-to um, once Mando came out and everything else. I've been really enjoying the shows over the last two seasons, obviously, um, and the characters, stuff like that. It just, it's some of the best Star Wars uh, TV that uh, you've seen in a very long time, in my humble opinion. Um, so collecting the characters I really like, IG-11 is definitely one of them. Uh, obviously with the armor that has been announced as well with uh, the, the, is it Toy Fair, I believe it is, or whatnot. Um, I, I've managed to also snag one of those. Uh, obviously don't have it yet because it's not out, but I am pumped to get the armor set up as well. Um, but yeah, so today we're gonna be doing an unboxing of IG-11 for you guys so you can take a look on the inside and stuff like that. Um, really cool, really fun model. Um, and I have like a bag that I picked up for my Mando uh, in Beskar, well, I guess and either Mando, uh, it's sort of like the side satchel bag uh, for Grogu to go in. Um, but I think it will work well for the bag that goes around the front of IG-11 when he uh, carries Grogu around on the speeder and stuff like that and does like the dual gun shooting all over the place. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna do a, a, probably some photos up with him. I think I wanna start getting back into doing more of those because I haven't done it recently. Um, haven't done many photos or even really uh, any unboxings of figures in that recently. Not that I've gotten a lot, um, but I, I think I just should start getting into it. Maybe I can do like an unboxing of like my, my Beskar Mando helmet because what I'm doing is uh, with the Grogu that I have, the one-to-one -one scale from Hot Toys, uh, I bought a, a Beskar Mando helmet uh, from Black Series as well. So I want to sort of throw that into a picture somehow and do a, a nice photo op with him. Uh, but yeah, so got lots of things I guess I could have been doing, but I haven't done recently. So, but anyhow, let's uh, take a look at IG-11 and see what's inside this box. And here we are with the box. Um, just showing off the box first, obviously the nice gloss sort of black uh, box with the box wrapping, the orange one for the Mando series. Uh, nice photos on the front, obviously. You have your side uh, as it continues and goes into the credits and such on the, the back there. Um, and then you have your IG-11 in one of his poses. Uh, you take that off. And you open up to your inside uh, pick. Um, fantastic pose, obviously. Uh, I'm not sure where they got backdrop. Obviously, they probably just took it from, from the show um, or got credit to use it and such. But uh, I really want to try to find a backdrop like this uh, for some of the photos that I want to do with them. Uh, you take that out, and you got everything nice and packaged there. So uh, you can take that off as well. As soon as I can get it off, that is. Yeah, so my idea is to do the the desert sort of sandiness, almost like where um, Mando, uh, Cara Dune, and everybody was uh, facing off against the Empire. You have your instructions. So usually they're attached to the side uh, over here, but I've already uh, opened them up and such. And then you have uh, you have your layout for IG-11. Um, I'm gonna pull everything out here in a second, go over the instructions, uh, go over the accessories, and uh, go from there. So I'll just turn off, come back, lay it all out nice, and we can take a look, a uh, closer look at IG-11. And there's everything laid out that comes in the box. You got your batteries, uh, you got his two uh, blaster rifles, where I guess one's carbine, one's a rifle, uh, his bandolier, um, his chest plate that has the thermal detonator in it, uh, base and instructions. So let's take a look at these instructions first um, and see what they say. Uh, they're always good to, to give a good read. Um, so uh, first one here. Uh, is looking at his uh, light up head function. Um, so magnet on the top there, 
and then you have your on-off switch after you unscrew that. So I'm gonna have to go grab some, a screwdriver from inside um, because I'm gonna test out these lights as well. Uh, then you have your chest piece, a thermal detonator that lights up, uh, which you can pull out this center piece by the looks of it. So we'll check that out here shortly. Uh, you have the bandolier and how you put that on um, as well as the uh, Velcro waist part. Uh, somewhere in there, I'll figure it out on the back. Um, and then you have the other steps over on the other side there. So yeah, uh, on the back side, uh, you have the wielding weapons and how you open up the claws and then insert them in. So you have the car uh, carbine on the left side and then his rifle on the right. And then the articulation, arm movements, leg movements, and then feet movements as well. So that's the instructions. We're gonna take a look at that uh, momentarily, but I'm gonna go grab a, a um, screwdriver to actually get this open and see uh, what's on the inside. There's his head already. Yeah, so I'll, I'll go grab the screwdriver and I'll be right back. All right, so I went and grabbed the screwdriver. Uh, I'm gonna start taking a look at obviously the uh, accessories that come with them. So I thought I'd throw the batteries in the back here uh, to this or on this chest piece. Um, so that way you can see the light up effect and such. So uh, there you go. Lights up actually pretty good. You can see it nicely and the flashing and stuff like that. It's awesome. I would never keep this on. <laughs> um, for any reason, like I just don't see a point for doing it, but I, it's still a pretty cool effect, um, especially if you're into like maybe doing some like videos or, or photography or whatever, it, you can get that light effect coming off his chest like that. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I also put his, the batteries in the head here. I already screwed them back in uh, and the switch is just on the inside. So I thought it might as well I'll show you that. And you can get the light up effect on his head as well. Right? From all the little dots and everything in there. But yeah, so that's the light up effect on those. Um, bandolier wise, you have your Velcro here that uh, you undo, and then you're gonna slide that over the right arm and head, and then put that back around the waist. Um, but yeah, uh, not sure what type of material it is. It's almost like a pleather, maybe a uh, very thin pleather, uh, some nice weathering on it. So you can see like a transition from like almost a black Brown to lighter, a slightly lighter Brown on there. Um, and then obviously you can see on the cartridges, um, the weathering on there, the gunmetal. really cool, really well done. Uh, you obviously have the base which it looks like it's the exact same base as uh, the other Mandos um, with footsteps and everything like that. Uh, yeah, I've got your nameplate on there and everything. So uh, head is just magnetized. That's the top part of the head. You can see the magnet on there just sits. And then you got your, uh, your rifle, blaster rifle, right? So primarily black with some weathering in the crevices. It's like almost like a a brown wash in the crevices and you can see some just hints of gunmetal on there uh, same with the carbine as well so fair size there um, so yeah that's that uh, chest piece uh, let me see if I can get this out um, this is just supposed to come off and then it's magnetized and then you can slide that in on his chest, give me a second, I'll turn it on and actually stick it in him. So there, there you go. He's not gonna self-destruct. That's what he's not going to do, so in the chest. Uh, so let's take a look at the figure, um, talk about the, the paint applications, such, um, and then also articulation and everything else. So we'll clean this stuff up and I'll come back with the figure, just the figure. And taking a closer look at the figure now, IG-11 himself. Um, you can see that he has a ton of metallics, obviously being a droid, uh, but he has like some nice tin and bronze uh, colors in there. A lot of like patina and weathering, which is fantastic. So you can see like down 
here on the legs. Let's see if that will stay in focus. It will. Uh, right along there. Uh, even like towards the bottom of that here. So you can see all that uh, chest wise, everything else. Um, even on his head, trying to get his head in there. You can see you have some like weathering effects and everything else. Like the, the paint application on this is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's, it's just a really good uh, look to the metallic colors. And it gets that really worn and um, dirty look across, uh, which came across in the show as well. So it's uh, spot on when it comes to the, to the paint application. Um, so articulation wise, let's start with the head. Um, so the head itself can uh, pivot or swivel, I guess, on its joint. Uh, you have the upper portion that can move as well as the bottom portion or the entire head. Um, you can't get it to go forward or back. Same with the upper torso. You can't get it to go forward or back or um, the bottom uh, of the torso, but you can pivot uh, the upper portion, right? And it should pivot most of the way around. The only thing that I would be cautious about are these wires at the back. Um, and then obviously you can also pivot the, uh, the lower portion right at the waist there, right? So that will pivot around. Uh, it's arms, IG-11's arms. They will come out to about a 90 there. I'm not gonna push it beyond that. There is a uh, pivot spot right in the upper sort of like um, shoulder area. Uh, you do have your, your uh, elbow joints, which does get a little bit more than a 90 bend, which is nice. Um, in the arms, they do sort of go back and forth, and uh, you can also get them to um, pivot in there as well. Uh, it just takes me holding down this, because if I just try to switch or, or uh, spin his hands around, the entire arm will move. So, But you can get, if you're looking for, just the, the wrist joint, uh, so it can go back and forth and sideways like so. Um, hands and claws, they do open up, um, and you can fully extend them as well. So let's just see how far out they can go. Um, and they're individual uh, stuff. So I'm just gonna go fully open like that with his hands. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Let's just close those back up. So there's a whole bunch of like little rivets or whatnot um, joints in there. I'm just gonna be very careful. Try not to break them is what I'm trying not to do. Uh, legs wise uh, for the motion, um, you obviously can go up and you can go up a good deal to again like that 90 degrees um you do have your bend at the knee right that's about as far as you can go um they do have a swivel joint you know, just a little bit i'm not gonna force it because i don't know if it's supposed to but like it's just a hair in there um and then you also have one down near the foot here uh so right there you can see it and it will turn as well as bend like so and then the foot itself comes up and down so that's the articulation um, of ig11 uh pretty cool i definitely like them um, i'm definitely gonna throw them up in my shelves behind me uh, I just don't know where. I have a lot of Mando stuff that has been uh, I've been collecting, and there's more coming. So, um, Star Wars Mando specifically, I think, has been becoming my main focus for Hot Toys. Though, being a big fan of Marvel, um, I do have a lot of Marvel stuff too, like some Spider-Man, Punisher, Ghost Rider, a couple of Deadpool's, um, and I even have a couple of other uh, other figures that are non-Hot Toys. So, um, Asmus. Um, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. Um, one other accessory I was going to show off here, I picked up from Inbox Studios one of their bags for Grogu. Uh, so that's the bag. Um, I think they're from India, I want to say. I can't not remember. Uh, but you have the flap over there, but you can get a Grogu to fit inside. So my idea is obviously it was for Mando, but uh, when I ordered IG-11, um, I also thought that I could probably like do something like so and like have Grogu sort of like hanging. I might try have to like tie it off or something. So it's sort of sitting somewhere around his chest area. 
That's what I'm thinking, something like that. Um, and then I might just have to tie it off because Grogu is going to weigh that down a little bit. So I might, uh, I might just hook it onto the back. They have, he has like these things on here. So I might just, that's my, what I, what I might have to do and then put Grogu in and see if that will hold Grogu sort of like on his chest, something. And then, yeah. And then I'll get like his guns in him and everything else like that and, and go to town. But that's the that's the idea is that that what I'm gonna do with that bag from uh, Inbox Studio, Studios really really cool um, looks awesome the the quality of the bag is just fantastic so uh, yeah definitely if you're looking for a bag for your Mando slash Grogu or IG11 that's the place you want to go uh, came in like a little envelope and. Uh, like I said, Inbox Studios, and that's what they're called. Check those guys out. Uh, great soft goods. At least that bag is really good. Um, I should almost grab a Grogu and put them in there. Nah, I'll do it later. But yeah, so that's the plan. I'm going to grab some accessories and see what they look like now on him. I'll put the uh, the vest on him, or the, the harness, I guess, the bandolier, and I'll grab some guns and stuff like that and uh, throw them in there. So let's see what happens and what he looks like. All right, so uh, going and placing the guns uh, into his hands. You can see I already did the one here, um, but I'm going to be working on the other one here as well. Uh, let me just put it, get it in focus, hopefully, for you guys so you can see. Um, what I noticed about the gun, actually, is that uh, it actually has its um, holster, not holster, but um, the bar on the back, so if you can see that. Uh, it has, I'll show you here in a second, I'll move him out of the way actually. Uh, this carbine here actually has its stock on the back to flip up like so. Um, its screws doesn't want to stay in there very well. They're like two little screws off to the sides that holds them and it's fairly loose. Um, like it holds into position like that pretty good. Um, when I was moving it around, uh, the screws came out of the hole over here. They're not very tight in there. I might have to try tightening, tightening it up. Um, but yeah, so you have your carbine with the stock and everything else uh, in the back. I'm not a gun person, so I think that's what it's called is a stock. Um, so here we go with actually getting, um, getting the gun in his hand. So you got that. Um, what I, what it says here to do, uh, in the instructions is basically to get it, uh, on the one finger here for the trigger, right? And so what I'll end up doing is bring that around like so, and then I'll grab the gun and I'll start closing that around there. So you get the gun into the position where you want it, and then you close the other top one all the way around. Oops. Mess that up a little bit. His finger is too far in. So, um, but you bring it in round like so. See if you can see that. Uh, and then you can bring the other one around and then the bottom one as well. And that should give you your gun nice and tight and snug and that hand with all its joints and everything else so um but yeah so there you go that's the ig11 gun and accessories um so yeah carbine blaster rifle great weathering cell phone jumped in the background somehow because i forgot to move it my bat uh but yeah and the piping and stuff it looks like it's pretty sturdy like piping like it's not like it's gonna rip out of there like it's it's pretty well done so um i'm gonna go play with this for a little bit i think uh i might uh i might try to go do a, a little photo inside steal the uh, tv use that as a backdrop and uh have some fun so anyhow that is my unboxing for uh, IG-11, so Hot Toys uh, TMS-008 uh, IG-11. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you are liking the content here on the channel, um, or if this is your first time seeing the channel, you can come back and explore uh, our other uh, unboxings that we've done, as well as I, I do other content for the hobbies that I'm in, um, so you can check that stuff out as well. Um, but anyhow, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, ignite your hobby.